All right, get rid of that side and then get rid of this side and then rip the whole thing. No, 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 no. Oh Gosh, there are bits and pieces of space junk flying all over the place now. Oh my gosh. What a mess Hello everybody, I am kindly keen and welcome to a new game for the channel This one is called disassembly 3d the developers were nice enough to send me over a key so we could check this out together And I gotta be straight up with you guys I'm actually really excited to try this out because I've always been kind of a tinkerer I've always liked taking stuff apart and that is exactly what you do in this game So check this out if we go into the main menu here you have your options of things that you can actually rip apart so you're getting a side table lamp speaker i mean that's interesting pocket knife microscope antique car like we can even take a robot apart then you go up a little bit bigger in scale you got a house here but if we keep scrolling down like we got a missile what the heck that seems dangerous and then the titanic that's absurd uh you can take apart cars you can take apart airplanes you got trains elevators skyscrapers you take down a skyscraper i don't even know how many pieces go into a skyscraper but your goal is to take every single piece apart and so obviously the bigger the object is probably the more parts that it has a space station i think that we have to do the space station but before we do that let's do something kind of small and, and hopefully easy so um actually an xbox 360 controller i've actually taken xbox 360 controllers apart in my day so let's see if we can pull this off so you can kind of see we have 33 parts up in the up in the upper right hand corner so that's how many parts are holding this thing together so we want to pull the screws out <laughs> i love it oh man you actually have to like click on the item and then pull it out of there okay so that should get the plate off right i, I should be able to take like the can i can i get the cover off of this thing there we go there's all the juicy insides of an xbox 360 controller i should be able to take this off as well right yeah okay i don't know if i can take the back panel off yet but i think we'll be able to later um we probably want to take the buttons out so let, let's try to get the buttons out okay yeah so far so good there we go goodbye a button goodbye b button this is pretty stinking cool uh we've got the rumble motors over here so we should be able to pull those guys out yes we can all right there you go uh let's see can we actually take yes we can take the little uh, thumb pad what's that thing called analog pad analog pad is that what it's called i don't know i forget exactly what it's called of course take care of that and then we got the joysticks which we can pop right off right there those things are getting worn down you know how you got the little nubs on your on your uh, joysticks and they start to wear down and you want to get new ones that's how you do it I, I don't know if you can actually do that we got the start and back button that we need to take out okay and then there's like these little like plastic like rubber thingy mabobbers that sit underneath them I've, I've seen the inside of an xbox 360 i've actually done this in real life not like to this extent i think that at one point i opened up my controller because it was getting really gunky you know like the the joysticks they build up with i don't know just gross stuff filth human filth i don't know that's disgusting uh i think i opened it up so that i could clean it so i like took alcohol wipes and kind of wiped it away so yeah there's like these little rubber things that sit underneath the buttons and i guess that's what actually presses up against the uh, transmitter that is a receiver that is on the actual board of the controller. I don't know. I mean, I'm no electrical engineer, so I have no idea how these things actually work, but that's at least how I understand it. Don't take my word for it, though. All right, let's see. Can we pull this whole thing out? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, so do we need to pull the triggers off? Probably. Oh, it's like stuck to a little hinge here. Can we take the hinge out? There we go. Get rid of that. Oh my gosh, this is so satisfying. There's just something really visceral about just ripping these things apart. Oh man, <laughs> that's awesome. There's the bumpers, get rid of those, get rid of those. Does this thing come out right here? No, it's it's part of the whole whole kit and caboodle. Okay, all right, that's fine. Uh, we only have three more parts left actually. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. Okay, so there's that. Uh, two more parts. What, what are the last two parts? I don't know. Maybe these things come out? No, those don't come out. Oh, the Xbox button. What if the home button is... Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, and then... Oh, there's the casing. Is that it? Is that... Parts of zero. 
Did I do it? Uh, there we go! We did it! We took an Xbox 360 controller completely apart. But now here's the cool thing. Once you complete a level, you get access to a fun little tool here. You get the bomb. And uh, apparently it will blow up whatever you're looking at. So yeah, that's a nice looking bomb right there. Uh, let's, let's get, can I, can I move it a little bit closer? Yes, I can. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Boom! Ho ho ho! Yes! Well, let me tell you something. Uh, it's a lot easier to just blow stuff up than it is to pick them apart one by one. Probably a lot more dangerous, but look at how beautiful that is. Just bits and pieces of Xbox 360 gut controllers just flying all over the place. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Imagine what a space station is going to look like if we can blow it up. All right, we've got to try this. Let's do it. There she is, in all her beauty. 182 parts, excuse me? Okay, uh, I might uh, have bitten off a little bit more than I can chew, but let's try it out. Remember, we can't actually use the bomb until we complete the level. So that is our goal, 182 parts. Although, it gotta be real with you, there's probably a lot more than 182 parts on an actual space station. So hopefully they're going kind of easy on us here. Uh, let's let's see if we can start out by taking off th th that. Oh, just floating off into the nothingness of space. Oh, geez. It's a very George Clooney moment. Gravity, you guys seen that movie? Wasn't bad. Sandra Bullock? Yeah, it's a good flick. All right, there it goes. Uh, let's do the same thing on the other side. Oh gosh, that is such a, a loud noise. I, oh man, I love it. It's just floating off. All right, goodbye. Solar array? I don't know. Oh no, these are the solar panels, right? Uh, let's let's rip off the solar panels. Oh gosh. Oh, there you go. All right, nobody needs solar power anymore. It's old news. All right, so let's just rip apart all of these solar panels. Oh, I accidentally broke that one. I don't know if I, I don't have to break these pieces, right? No, that would be awful. Okay, so let's see if we can take apart the thing that's actually holding together the solar panels. Oh gosh, that noise is so scary. Could you imagine if you were inside of the space station and some giant alien just came up and started ripping pieces? Off of the space station? That would be a terrifying situation. I would not like that. I would not like that at all. All right, let's get this thing out of here and you can go too. All right. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. No. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. This could get very bad, actually. Come come back. Don't, don't float. Don't float away. You got to come back here. Okay, we need to be careful about this because what happens is if these pieces float off while there's still pieces connected to them, we won't get credit for actually taking the parts apart. So we need to be very careful about how we go about this. Oh my gosh, stop, 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 stop. Thank you, okay, thank you. All right, uh, we need to take this top part off, right? Okay, and then we need to take this apart, and then we need to take this apart over here, I think. There we go. All right, now we're talking. That's the way it's handled. And then this thing, I don't, I don't know. I can't, I can't actually do anything with this thing. All right, so here's this little cabin thing that fell off in all that chaos. I'm not sure if there's multiple pieces. Yeah, see, there you go. There's multiple pieces on it. You got to be careful about that. We got to, do we have to take this part off as well? No? Okay, all right. So I think this part's done. So we can kind of toss that out to the side here. And then let's just continue taking down these solar panels. This is so stinking awesome though. Oh man, astronauts, they got it good, right? All right, let's get this weird accordion thing out of here. Let's see if I can grab it and then there we go. All right, get rid of that side and then get rid of this side and then rip the whole thing. No, 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 no. Oh gosh, there are bits and pieces of space junk flying all over the place now. Oh my gosh, what a mess. All right, let's see if we can grab this thing and uh, please come back. Please, 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 please come back. Come back. Come back. Okay. Are there multiple pieces here? I, I don't know. It looks like it's just one solid piece. Okay. Didn't have to worry about that one. But now I got to go find the other pieces that <laughs> got knocked off. Oh gosh. Life in space is not easy. I got to tell you. Teaching me a thing or two here. Okay, wait. Is there is there anything that I can rip apart here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Now I know 
that there was like a satellite array that just went flying off somewhere and I can't actually see it. I, I don't I don't see the bits and pieces. Do they just fly off forever? Okay, I am slightly concerned that I may have ruined this for us, but let's just continue doing what we were doing and try to be a little bit more careful about breaking pieces that are connected to other pieces. Don't crash into, okay, all right, that's fine, that's fine. All right, so I removed all of the solar panels. I still need to remove these weird accordion things, whatever they are, I don't know, maybe they are also solar panels. I don't know, I am not an astronaut, in case you're wondering. Have zero experience in outer space. But now we just kind of have like the main, I don't know, space station part of the space station. So hopefully we can just start like ripping the bits and pieces off here, just like so. There you go. Oh my gosh, this is so stinking satisfying. I feel like the most powerful creature on the planet right now. I can live and breathe in space and rip space stations apart all day, every day. Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> Just rip all this stuff out of here. Get rid of that. Okay, okay, that's a very big piece. I'm not gonna take that off yet. I'm gonna take this off. Now, does this have more pieces to it? It's kind of hard to tell. It doesn't seem like it, so we might be okay. All right, so let's get all these little accordion guys out of here. Oh gosh, that noise, it's not good. I would not want to hear that if I was on a space station, okay. That is not what I wanted to happen, but it looked pretty cool. So let's start ripping pieces off of this thing before it gets too far away. Can you please stop? Can you come here? Okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> everything fell apart as soon as I grabbed that. So I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Uh, let's go over to this thing that looks like... Oh, no. No, no, no. Come back. Come back. No. Where, where are you going? No, I can't. I can't actually reach this stuff. This is, this is not good. Oh, it just disappeared. It just, it disappeared. Uh, okay, I hope I get credit for that, but I don't know if I actually will. All right, let's take this thing apart. I don't know what that is, some kind of orb. It's probably very important. And I honestly feel very bad for the astronauts who may or may not still be living on this space station. Uh, they're, they're not gonna be living for very much longer. I, I apologize, you guys. Let's do it. Oh, what the heck? Okay, uh, pretty much everything just fell apart. Just the whole thing just obliterated. I, I don't know if we're gonna be able to finish the game at this point. We, we may not. There, there's a little piece right there. There's a little something right there. And then just, I, I don't know. I don't actually know. Oh no. Is there bits and pieces here? And throw that stuff? I, do I have to just throw this stuff off of the map? Is that what I have to do? I, I don't know. It says there are 44 more parts. I do not see 44 parts. I probably literally see 44 parts just floating about, but I don't think there's, okay, wait, wait. We just lost like 10 pieces. So if we just throw these pieces off of the map, do we get credit for them? Is that how this works? There's a whole bunch of stuff over here. Can I just throw this? Oh yeah, okay. So maybe this isn't as bad as I thought it was. This is actually kind of awesome. So we just need to make everything disappear. That's the secret. Grab this piece and just throw it into the atmosphere. <laughs> okay, I'm not getting any more points though. Uh, that's not good. Can I, can I take that and throw that down into the abyss? There's some stuff up here. Oh, wait, wait, there's, there's some more stuff up here. Okay, maybe this will give me points that I need uh... so there's no space station there's there's no pieces at least that I can see but apparently there are 30 more parts that I need to disassemble I don't know where I went wrong probably when I just kind of blew up half of the station and it flew off into the distance but I thought we were getting credit for stuff that went outside of the map I don't know, it's a little glitchy. So I'm gonna try a different strategy altogether here. What if I just take the whole space station, just like grab it by the center, and just throw it into the atmosphere of Earth below it? Will that give me the points that I need to finish the level? I don't know. Oh my gosh. I, 
<laughs> it's like I'm getting ready to uh, make a pitch. I'm gonna pitch the space station into Earth. Okay, here we go. Go, my friend. Oh, what? Zero. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I just spent like 25 minutes taking every little piece off of the space station, meticulously pulling it apart. I could have just grabbed the whole thing and just launched it into the atmosphere. Okay, that's great. That is fantastic. All right, so since we beat it, kind of by like cheating, more or less, uh, we can actually blow it up. So let's do it and let's watch the glory. Here we go. Put the bomb like right on top of, oh no, 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 no. You're not supposed to do that. Okay, that did not work. Let's try this again. Got to be a little bit more delicate with the bomb here. Okay, so let's let's get close to the bomb. Let's grab the bomb and just 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 kind of very gently place the bomb just right next to the space station. There, yet, yeah, yes, there we go. Good bomb. Very very good bomb. Okay, we got a great angle on this. Let's do it. Hit the bomb. Yes, that is what I am talking about. It's all worth it. You got to go through all the trouble of taking the thing apart. But when you blow it up, oh boy, does it look pretty. It's beautiful. Look at all the pieces just flying all over the place. That was incredibly satisfying. Look at that. It's still got 44 parts living, alive, and well. The bomb didn't quite do it. The secret is you just got to take the whole space station and throw it into the burning atmosphere. Problem solved. Easy. Let's speed it up here a little bit. There we go. Watch all the pieces just fly all over the place. And let's see if it actually gets everything off the map. I don't think that it will. There's still some bits and pieces just kind of floating in the center here. I don't know if it's enough. And there you go. That's the aftermath of a space station explosion. Nothing. Nothing is left. Well, I gotta say, guys, this game is pretty stinking cool. Sometimes it gets a little annoying when you have to look for, like, a little piece that you can't quite find. But otherwise, it does a really great job of tapping into that little inner tinkerer that we all have inside of us. So if you guys want to check out this game for yourselves, I will have a link down in the description below. It is available on Steam. But that's going to do it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.